Hello my lovelies. What a fight I've had to get this camera stable. Oh my goodness. So it's Sunday morning and it is vastly early. Um, Craig was up very early to go to work and I think it's impossible in our house um, for anybody to sleep in because he gets up then Betty wakes up and anyway there you go. So it's early and I thought I would film my morning skincare because I generally film my evening skincare and I just thought I'd take you through what I'm currently using. I'm nearly at the end of this, which is very disappointing, but it is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Um, I would get another one, actually. I really like this. It's for all skin types, but it is very, very gentle. I wouldn't use it as part of my evening cleanse, but I do like it to just clean my face off after I've been asleep, get all the debris off my face from the night. Um, yeah, so we're going to start with that. Oh, that feels better already. You can see I'm still a bit sensitive around here. I'm still getting reactions to things. I did use an exfoliant stupidly, thinking maybe my skin was better again because um, it had cleared quite well and it set it off. So silly me, but you live and learn. Um, I'm currently using a Bobbi Brown. I'm currently using a hydrating face tonic from Bobbi Brown. Um, this is enriched mineral water and cucumber extract. Smells nice. Has a sort of gel watery texture to it, so I'm not sure whether I like it. I did like the fresh hydrating one, but this is quite a recent addition, so we'll see. But um, I'm just finding good old traditional toners far better for my skin than AHA, BHA products. Um, and I haven't really noticed a vast difference, to be honest, in the condition of my skin. It's still got the clarity and it's, you know, still okay. But we've just got this. Somebody was telling me it could be my liver, apparently, um, and to try milk thistle. I don't know if anybody else um, has thought about that. I've sort of always looked at products because it coincides with, you can see Betty, <laughs> coincides with the over exfoliating but then somebody said oh it could be your liver as well so anyway anybody got any ideas do let me know um i have finished another bottle of serazinc and i have this from moxa which is a sort of small handmade brand and this is the wild rose toning mist for all skin types it's actually made in devon where i live um and i'm not a fan of rose but Rose is so good for older skin, so I'm trying to ignore the fact I don't like the scent. But actually this isn't overpowering, which is great. And it's a really nice mist. Mm. Oh, it's wonderful. And it's so nice on the face in the middle of the day, because obviously it's been so warm in the UK. It's been really refreshing to use it. So I'm just going to let that do its thing. I don't want to pat it down or anything today, but I'm going to show you a few other things I'm using. Um, I'm trialing this, the Emma Hardy Midas Touch Revitalizing Eye Serum. As you know, I'm very cynical about eye products, so I'm interested to see what happens with this. Um, um, consistency wise, yes, I like the consistency. It is a, um, I'll show you, I do sort of half a pump. Um, it's a white cream, but it is more a gel and it almost has an el elastic feel to it, elasticity feel, and it's wonderful, but then it just sort of blends down, and I quite like that. You can use it around the lip area. I use it on my frown lines and number 11s, which are these, when people say, what are number 11s? Those. Um, yes, so I'm enjoying trialing it, but we'll see. The one good thing so far has been that it hasn't, I'm just going to blend it down so you can see the consistency. It hasn't dried these areas out, which is generally what happens for me with skincare. So, so far, so good. And then just on the orbital bone. Back and forth because your lines and wrinkles don't just go in one direction. And I just pat it down with my finger. And your eye will actually absorb what it needs. So you're not overloading under the eye. I've seen some terrible advice from people, especially on Instagram. It's amazing. People, because they love skincare, think they know it all. And the number of times I see people saying, oh, you know, put it right up to your lash line. And it's just too much for the eye area. But I love how it blends away. And then any residue, you can just... You waste absolutely nothing. So consistency wise, after about a week, I really do like the consistency. 
I just like that sort of stretchy feel and then it disappears. It doesn't leave a film on the skin. As I say, it doesn't leave the area dry, which I really like because I do struggle with eye products. So, so far, so good. And it works on puffiness, dark circles as much as it can. Um, but obviously just keeping the eye area hydrated. There we go. Right, I have a few things um, that I'm using. I'm going back to Elizabeth Arden quite a lot. I used to love Elizabeth Arden. And of course you get blinded by a lot of the newer brands out there, but some of the old stuff, it's still good. And I'm working between this during the day and this on an evening. This is the Superstar Skin Renewal Booster. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I have the Ceramide Capsules, which I had some samples of last year and I really loved them. So I decided to get some more. So I am applying this, I shall show you. I'm just doing one pump. There you go. There you go. Be Betty, of course, has to make herself her presence known. And this, it just smells really fresh and clean which I like and it's not overpowering and I love to just press it. You can use two pumps but I do find that once it's sort of on my hands there's quite a lot of it that will transfer onto the skin. And you can get different sizes with the Elizabeth Arden which I like. You're not just stuck with buying a really large size of a product. That's lovely and it just goes into the skin. But I just noticed my makeup's just had that extra bit of pizzazz about it. And my skin feels so lovely. It really is a nice base. Now, I'm going to put an oil over the top. Um, I have several oils because you know I love them. One of my particular favourites has been the Mono Blue Tansy Oil. I just find Blue Tansy is just so calming and levelling for my skin. So I have that, but I do tend to apply that as part of my evening routine. I have this which was from the Organic Clean Box. Um, and this is a face oil by Sophia Latif which is beautiful, the scent is, it reminds me of something and I can't think what it is, which is frustrating, but very rich, beautiful oil. I also have um, a clarifying oil from Votary that I'm using up. So A Florence Skincare sent me a few samples when I ordered a cleanser and I'm using the Intense Night Repair as well. So if I'm not using Mono, I'm using that, but I don't always take notice when it says night, I will use them in the day because that's what I, I do. So we're going to use some of the Sophia Latif oil. And let's do three, four drops. I read somewhere that somebody was saying that they were so pleased that a product didn't have a pipette. And I just thought, oh dear, oh dear. I just don't know if I can follow you on Instagram anymore. A pipette is, oh, it's just fabulous. I do love a pipette. So just blending that, spreading that, pushing that into the skin. Oh, it smells. It's, it is quite floral, which for me, it's unusual for me to like something that's floral. Um, but it's not overly, um, you know, it's not too floral. That's the thing. But it's, it reminds me of something else that I've used and... It just clicked that memory, but I can't remember the name of it, so it didn't click the memory properly. So that's on, just beautiful. And I'll leave that for five, even more minutes, um, just to really go into the skin. And then I'm using my Jane Scrivener Skin Elixir, which I love. Again, it's another oil product. I love, 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 love my oils, you know that. I was talking to my neighbor who hates facial oils. And she actually said, oh, I really don't like, you know, oils. And my face always gives me away. And she was laughing because I was literally going. It's like the worst thing you could say to me. Well, if you say you use cleansing wipes, you don't use cleanser and you don't like facial oils. And I just went, I don't even know if we can be friends. And she thought that was quite funny. But I was just, but you've got to love facial oils. You know, when you really love something and you want other people to really love it, you can be a bit over the top with it. And I am about facial oil, so yes. So a few other bits and pieces that are going on on the tray of skincare, because I'm going to let 
the oil go in. Um, a Florence Skincare, I mentioned it. This is the Balm to Milk Cleanser. I do tend to keep it in my fridge in this hot weather because it does liquefy and if you put it in the fridge it'll go back to its hard balm consistency. I'm loving that. Still trialing it and it does have rosehip in it so I'm just keeping an eye on that. Again from Moxa, I am using their chamomile cleansing oil and lavender cleansing oil. Fabulous. Really love it. Love Moxa. You've seen the Mono Blue Serenity. I'm also using some of the Mono Blue Tansy Tranquility Face Balm, which is beautiful. Um, what else have I got? I have got some of the Evolve... Um, glow mask which i love because it's it's just like dessert in a tub if you like the fresh face sugar polish it's very similar consistency to that um i have some more mono totally hooked with mono and this is their beauty balm which it's a little bit if you think about sort of first aid balms you know balms you can use anywhere that are great for the skin this is just absolutely beautiful it smells just of green stuff you know good good stuff so a lot of mono going on um i don't know what else to get for my morning cleanse so give me your suggestions i like the glossier jelly cleanser i love oscar renaissance cleansing balm which i was thinking of going back to i love this i'm going to have a look in my sample drawer just to see if i've got anything to use up but if you have any recommendations just something straightforward simple um there's no reason why i can't use my cleansing oils and balms in the morning but i do tend to prefer to just use a quick wash even though my skincare is never quick but that's sort of it so the oil there we go look at this so you can see it happens look you know and sometimes i cover it with makeup if i'm going out and sometimes i don't so i've got one pump of the skin elixir and this again is an oil so an oil on an oil on an oil i don't oh gosh jade's scraping it just oh it just smells so good i love oils i really really do love oils so we'll keep updating on this we'll keep an eye on see how long it lasts it could be um i saw the doctor the other week for other things and she said it could actually be hormonal it's one of those things that when you get to a certain age some people get um acne in their 40s so it could be acne it could be rosacea um as i say it had gone and then i used an exfoliant on it and it came back again so could be an allergy could be a food allergy could be the liver thing so let me know if you've taken mink, milk thistle products and if that's helped but yes it's just an ongoing trial of what the hell is it but to be honest it doesn't keep me awake at night i don't really bother that much about it it's you know could be worse simple as that right that's my morning skincare that's on and i'm going to film some videos for youtube now so thank you for joining me hope you enjoyed my morning skincare routine and i will film an evening one at some point as well right and it's on my phone in case the quality is not fantastic bye for now